when you go on leave, you set the out of office or automatic replies message. I'm sure you do that already, but I'm also sure you don't know these three new great features. So let's have a look. In fact, you may be surprised to know that the out of office message can be set from five different places, but I'm not going to confuse you. I'll show you the best place to go to. Traditionally, we do it from Outlook desktop, file automatic replies and then configure this. But if you go to the browser version of Outlook, it gives you many more features and flexibility. Let's say I'm going to go on leave from 9th July to 15th July. If I look at my calendar, I have four meetings during that period. The red one, boss has invited me and the purple ones I have arranged. With that in mind, let's go to the browser and see how this is done. This is the browser version of Outlook. Go to the wheel or sprocket or settings and search for automatic replies. The first thing to do is switch it on. The second thing to do is specify the start date and end date. So 9 July, 15 July. And then I'm going to put some message. Usually we put some reason, maybe some alternative email ID contact number, details of a colleague whom other people can contact during your absence. But generally this should be done only for people within the organization. If people from outside send you a message, you should not put too many contact details, it can be misused. So here you put a generic message. In case you want to be even more strict about which outside parties get the detailed message, enable this. Only if the person is in your contact list, they will get the message. Random external parties will not get any message even if we are out of office. But now let's see three more things which are useful. Block my calendar for this period. Why is it important? Because when you are out of office, others may invite you for a meeting. They should not be misguided into that. So I'm going to block my calendar up front so that when anybody looks at my free busy time, they will know that I'm not available. Now this is just an uh, arbitrary or dummy meeting I'm setting up. So I need to give a title for that event. In fact, it's not going to be one meeting. It's going to be an all-day event spanning the entire period. I'm going to call it study leave. The second is during that period, if someone invites you for meetings, there is nobody to reply to them, either accept or decline. So let's automatically decline the invitation. Simple and logical. But the best feature I like is this one. During that period, you already have some meetings. Some meetings, you have arranged some meetings. Someone else has invited you. What happens to those? You don't want to go and do it manually one by one, saying, I'm not there, cancel, cancel, cancel. So this is a great way of doing it in bulk. So what is it saying? Should I cancel and decline? Decline for meetings arranged by others and cancel your own meetings. Very good. And then you can choose one or more of them. If you click on this, all of them are selected. But wait, when you decline or cancel, it's a good idea to put a message there. Now it's asking you, do you want to use this message or do you want to give a more specific message because this concerns calendar entries rather than emails. I'm going to say create a message and then I'm going to type a different message. After all this is configured, just click save. We'll give you a warning that we are going to cancel and decline stuff. This is okay. Now let's go back to the calendar and see what happened. All my meetings are gone and there is a single all day event which spans across from 9 to 15. Now let us see what happens on the other side. This is my boss trying to send me a mail. As soon as my email ID is typed, the automatic reply will be shown here. Now this is a meeting. Boss is trying to arrange a meeting on 10th of July and invite me. And as soon as that happens, it gives you a message and the custom message which I had configured is also available here. And that's how you manage out of office replies in an effective manner. I recently created two videos about Outlook calendar best practices. Have a look at them. I guarantee it will improve your efficiency. That's it for now. Thank you.